Horses are being smuggled out of Britain to European slaughterhouses. These are not just horses that have been bred for this trade. Any horse can end up being exported to slaughter, from outgrown children's ponies through to exports horses. Sold with the best of intentions and in the belief that they could never end their lives in a slaughterhouse. The Cat Animals Bill will bring in a number of benefits for all animals, so it's not just horses, but there are two key elements for horses which are around the livestock worrying, um, which will bring in additional powers for police um, to be able to investigate uh, cases of livestock worrying, and that is on, on horses and ponies, be it in fields or out on roads. Um, the second element is uh, related to our founding campaign is World Horse Welfare, so that is a ban on live exports to slaughter. While we know that no horse, pony or donkey has been officially declared as going uh, for slaughter in recent years, that there is a trade, an under the radar trade in horses being moved out of this country, and some of those horses will end their lives in a European slaughterhouse. What we need is anyone that's a resident in the UK to take our action and write to the Prime Minister and urge him to make sure that this bill passes into law. Time is running out on this, so we need to act now. But why, in this day and age, does this still happen? So it's a really challenging question to answer because this trade, we believe, is linked in to uh, other activities, other criminal activities, when we look at the, the cost implications, the value of the horses that are being moved out, and the cost of moving a horse out of the country, it just doesn't add up. So we believe that, that these horses are being moved, they're being re-passported, so horses that are potentially being signed out of the food chain uh, are being given fraudulent passports to allow them to enter the food chain um, once they're moved into Europe. But on top of that, there's also other um, criminal or, or illegal activity around that where they might be using, for example, red diesel. They might be using some of these movements to hide other activities, uh, which all will then add up into a much bigger picture around criminal activity. And it's not just low value animals that are being sent abroad to slaughter. The sad reality is that with the, you know, the identification passport system that we've currently got in place, it means it's just far too easy to give any horse. So that could be you know, your family pet, that could be an, you know, an ex-competition horse, um, your childhood pony even. It's, it's far too easy to reissue them with a fraudulent passport to show that they're signed, signed into the food chain, when in reality they're, they're, they have been signed out. And so any, any horse can enter this trade. During these illegal operations, it is the horses whose welfare is being compromised. This is a welfare issue for horses. It's, as you say, it's a welfare and it's a biosecurity issue because these animals are being moved under the radar, meaning we can't trace them. We don't know. We think that, obviously, as I said, a number of them are going to be ending their lives in European slaughterhouses. Um, but the way they're being transported, um, the conditions being transported in, are, in the case, they're going to be poor welfare conditions. They're also going to be in vehicles that are not, do not meet the, the standard um, that we'd expect for the, for the length of journey that those animals are undertaking. And also we question whether some of those are fit for the journey that they're undertaking. So it's really when they're on the radar, we can check all of that. It's when they're being moved under the radar that that becomes a real problem. To these people, horses are just commodities. They cut corners where they can to make as much money as possible. Welfare is not, is not a priority for them. So we gather evidence on the ground, so we have investigators that go out to the ports and they to try and understand the movements through the ports and to try and gather the evidence in terms of that compliant but also that non-compliant trade and also then work with enforcement agencies to feed through the intelligence we're gathering so we can see effective enforcement both at the ports but also through that whole movement um, from GB out, outwards. And that work that we do is not just obviously within the UK, we'll also share that uh, any intelligence that we receive or any evidence that we get further afield um, with other countries those horses are passing through. So we use the evidence that we gather to influence legislation and policy as we've been doing with the Kept Animals Bill to make sure that it's effective and it's going to work and it's going to put a stop um, and improve welfare for the, for the horses and ponies that, that the legislation's there to protect. To do this work, and as a charity we rely on your donations to make sure that we can influence policy, we can collect that evidence to make sure that we protect the horses and ponies and stamp out this cruel trade. <laughs>